Sign, white lines, long driving, I'm feeling something holding me back. Cut ties, no lies inside, and I never meant to say that. My eyes wide, I'm running high, seaside, and I never wanna go back. A long drive. As though the power is back on and I'm back at the house um, it wasn't three weeks so that was nice um, it's one of those deals where you don't realize well I mean I've been through extended power outages in the past and I do know how much I rely on power but when it happens you think you're prepared and you may be a little bit but it doesn't always go as planned anyways have definitely learned a few things I'm going to be installing a ramp out front so I can basically have another exit point from the house and if I need to leave when there isn't power or say the garage door is not working or if the mechanism jams even when the power is out and I can't open it right now the back of the house is the only way I can get out but that involves grass and everything so I'm gonna build a ramp out front I'm gonna fix the landing so I can actually get up there and yeah also I found out this house has some electrical issues um, <laughs> So I'm going to be uh, working on that. There's a... Uh... Well, here, let me see if I can show you. So here's the kitchen. If I open this drawer... Actually, hang on, let me... If I pull this drawer all the way out of here... So I probably need a flashlight. All right, check this out. That is old 1960s Romex just flapping in the breeze and the sink is right here um, so there's one example of interesting things going on wait where does that go 
Does that just go up into the wall here? Oh my gosh! Duct tape? Are you kidding me? Um... So, among other things, uh, we've got some weird, we've got some strange wiring stuff going on there that's clearly not up to code. So, this all started because I wanted to uh, look at getting a, gener a, a generator interface switch installed, or like an automatic switchover. So at least I can run the furnace in the future from the generator. Uh, one of my friends came over and he had someone with him that, well, I had a professional look at things and he said he's surprised the house even has a certificate of occupants uh, uh, can't even talk he's surprised the house has a certificate of occupancy there aren't even main disconnects for the panel in the garage to isolate this place from the grid and then that stuff there by the way this is from Anchorman <laughs> uh, one of the few Will Ferrell movies that I think is kind of funny. Anyways, dealing with all that. In the meanwhile, I've got something exciting here. Someone else stopped by a little bit ago and dropped off some really cool things made by Uline. These are electric, um, they're pepper grinders, pepper and salt shakers. I just realized they're kind of interesting looking, but, um, run on AA batteries. And I've been using pepper like it's going out of style when I barbecue and grill and stuff. So these are great. I'll be able to get my uh, my rock sea salt and put it in one of these things. And he said there's even lights on here, I think. Oh, and they're, they're incandescent. None of that LED garbage. <laughs> awesome. And that light just died. Hang on, I have another one. I was, I was using this little uh, phone battery case thing that I'm taking apart to make into a light. That one works too, but it's a little bit harsher. So yeah, pepper grinders, awesome. I think this is going to be a rant video. Um, dealing with getting my wheelchair replaced. This morning I wound up completely switching health networks. My new doctor that I got a few months ago, and I mean doctor, because I'm confused how he has a medical license, um, has decided that even though we're just replacing a chair that I got last year, that somehow everything has now changed, and I don't even qualify for a power chair, or any group three seating, let alone the group four stuff that I actually need with the suspension and everything. And he started calling around and talking to my therapist and some other people. And now suddenly everyone's like, yeah, we can't medically justify anything and blah, blah, blah. And we're surprised that your last chair was even approved. And they're all taking this like moral, I was going to say moral superiority, but I don't want to be too rude. They're taking some weird moral high ground and they're saying things like, oh, um, we're continuing to restore your internet. Yeah, internet's still down. <laughs> my, my internet setup is so jank right now, but it works and it's been reliable. It involves feeding wireless signals from an iPad to a, a Wi-Fi repeater that runs an ethernet cable into the, uh, the router and back feeds the rest of the network. And then there's another cellular backup out there. I prefer not to use that because it's kind of expensive, but if the iPad hotspot goes down, We've got another backup. Um, yeah, I'm making a lot of changes. I found out some of the lights and stuff I have outside, I can't even turn them on unless there's internet. So, ramp out front, electrical stuff, that's gonna be a whole thing. Um, and then outside lighting and stuff like that, backup power for the uh, uh, interface for the furnace and all that. What was I saying? Oh yeah, wheelchair stuff. So I completely switched health networks. I went back to an old one that I was on years ago. Uh, it takes effect on Monday. So hopefully I can go into them and be like, what's up? And they'll sign paperwork. I find it strange when general practitioners just suddenly decide that they want to try and fix problems that don't exist and kind of overstep what they're supposed to do. It's like, dude, you're not a neurologist. Okay, 
he was using words like falsifying information and ethics and all this stuff. It's like, I've been in a chair for at least eight years. They've all been approved in the past, no problem. So, anyways, that's a whole thing. Absolute worst case scenario, I could just buy an F5 on eBay and the parts I need and build it myself. To be honest, um, they were submitting the F3 as a Group 3 chair with a line item upgrade to the F5. So potentially I might have been responsible for the cost difference anyways, which could be eight to $10,000. But if that's the case, I might as well just buy an F5 on eBay because you can get those for like three to $5,000. And the other custom parts I need would be maybe another 800 bucks. So I don't know. Um, I might be getting ahead of myself, but I'm gonna wait and see with this new health network, get back there and see what the doctors and stuff say. I, I don't think it's gonna be a problem with them, but I'm just, at this point, I'm reconsidering everything in life and getting in and out of this house, the electrical stuff and snow and power loss and all that. And I just need a chair that doesn't, <coughs> boy. I just need a chair that I can sit in that doesn't cause pain and it lets me do things. Like, the reason I'm able to do a lot of the stuff I do is because of the chair I have. Like anterior tilt, the seat lift for being able to cook, the anterior tilt for transferring in and out of the thing, uh, getting my feet elevated up high enough so my legs don't swell up. Uh, I mean, you know, heart related stuff as far as circulation, like all this stuff. General practitioners are basically at their core paper pushers. Yes, they are doctors, but I would argue that their main goal is to just take care of the paperwork, the fine print, insurance stuff, everything you need just to let you live your life. I'm not trying to cure anything here. I'm not trying to like fix my spine or my brain injury or you know any of the other things that are going on. I just need someone that's in my corner that can realize, hey, we need to take care of this. Let's do what we need to and do it. As opposed to backpedaling and um, trying to shake everything up. Nothing's changed since the last year. I mean, my green van tried to kill me. I survived that somehow. Luckily, there isn't really any long-term damage from that. But other than that, which could be argued made things worse, nothing's changed. So why are we... Anyways, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. I'm looking at all my options, like I said, as far as backups and if I need to do eBay or whatever. But today is one of those days that I am just so frustrated. This morning, I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. And I was like, all right, screw it. Made the phone call, switched health networks. That phone call took all of three minutes and the guy was happy to help. <laughs> so anyways, hopefully, well, that's the thing. Like things always work out in time. It, it took me eight months to get the forefront. It took another year to get it sent back. And now we're already four months into trying to get a replacement. I'm not getting any younger last I checked. I don't know why I looked at my watch. But, yeah. It's just interesting that... Well, I don't even know. But I'm going to get some food. Uh, the same friend that brought over the uh, pepper mill grinder thing also brought me some pellets for the grill. So I'm going to get some food thrown on there. And I'll be back in a bit. Um, today's about mental health for me and trying not to go insane. I, like I said, this morning I, I yeah, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I'll be back. Um, so that just happened. I was attempting to open this thing of peppercorns and I guess I didn't realize that was glass. I was trying to use these pliers because they have this lid on there that tries to keep you from opening it. But now there's glass and peppercorns and plastic everywhere in here. Um, I don't think too much of it got into the into the pepper. <laughs> that was a lovely explosion. I'm glad I uh, didn't get any of that in my eyes. All right, um, time to clean this up. I don't think I got any glass in my cushion, but um, 
Don't open glass pepper things with pliers. It's the next day now, and uh, I just finally put some stuff on the barbecue. No idea what the plan is today. All the snow is finally gone. I was I was getting ready to go out in the front yard with the hose and melt the last few piles of it, <laughs> just for absolutely no reason. The power has been back on. It has been flickering a fairly significant amount though, and one of the surges or brownouts or whatever's happening took out a computer monitor. <laughs> so I'm going around and getting as many of those uninterruptible backup power supplies. You know those things with the batteries that go inside and it's sort of like a surge protector, plug your computer into, when the power goes out, they start screeching like crazy. Yeah, those things. I'm getting those and plugging them into everything because even though the power is back on here, it's not back on everywhere and there's still a lot of work to do. And as they connect and disconnect stuff and test things, there's obviously spikes and whatnot in the uh, in the grid. So today I'm trying to get some of those things gathered together, uh, replace some of the batteries in them, because a few of them have been sitting for quite some time and need replacement batteries. Anyways though, I think we're kind of in the same spot that we were yesterday when I put down the camera. I'm waiting for food to cook. I don't think there's much else going on today, and this will probably just be a short update slash rant video, but yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so that chicken that I put on the grill was actually bad, so I had to throw a bunch of it away, and we've swapped out for stuff that now hasn't spoiled. Ah, uh, nothing like some good barbecue chicken tacos. Anyways, I've been working on these uh, backup power supplies here. Got the stash of these things out, and uh, it turns out the batteries in most of these are bad. Apparently that's the OEM brand that uh, APC uses on their supplies, which is kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, got some of the batteries down here, some of them up here. Out of the whole stash of them, I've got two of these big ones, two of this medium large one, or one of this medium large one, and then a smaller one in the other room. I was able to get one battery working. All three of these units operate on 24 volts, so they need two batteries, but the other one operated on 12 volts and I was able to revive one of these, but yeah. These things are eh, about $18 each. Each unit needs two of them, so I'm gonna have to buy some of these things to get them going, but these units are pretty cool. They, uh, they charge the batteries. Okay, so they charge in series, but they have parallel monitoring with this extra wire here so they can keep a pretty good eye on how good each battery is. But after a while, they go bad. I mean, look how old this thing is. Um, yeah, the, the batteries aren't gonna last forever. This living room's kind of a disaster area right now. I got some of the battery chargers moved, but those battery banks are still over there. There's another one behind that tub. And I'm gonna have to get some help to put that mattress back in the back room. I was able to drag it out of there, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to get back into the spot that it was on my own because it requires like lifting it up over a bunch of stuff. I was just able to grab it and drag it over everything. But anyways, um, got an old computer and I've been going through some of my old hard drives and finding some files and stuff that I thought I had lost. I also finally found the Excel file for the list of all the cars I've owned. I've been trying to find that forever. It's been like 218, 220 different vehicles, something like that, since I got my driver's license. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to be updating that list. It's kind of fun to go through it, but anyhow. But I think for now, that's probably good. A little update video for you. Power is back on. Uh, oh, internet finally started working again today too. So I was able to uh, pack up the iPad hotspot apparatus. That got a little weird for a while. But uh, yeah, I, dealing with this stuff with getting a new wheelchair, I don't understand. I mean, I talked about it earlier, but I just, I don't get it. It's like, hey, doctor people, just look at some MRIs. Done. 
Like, what? Anyways, I'm gonna stop before I uh, end up running off into another rant here, so yeah. Uh, a couple interesting things coming up. I think the next video is gonna be something to do with this here iPhone. I actually went and bought this. It's an old iPhone 7 specifically to make this video. We're gonna be talking about controlling that phone without touching it at all. Some of the technology for uh, the assistive, well the assistive technology things that phones have in them now have come a long ways and I recently discovered as people are texting, oh sweet, works for me, exclamation point. But yeah, really cool stuff. I'm sure a lot of you already know and use the adaptive stuff on phones, but I think we need to replace the battery in this thing. I'll catch you guys in a few days.